How many of you have gotten off work or school, sat down to game, and only had an hour or two to play but couldn't decide what to boot up? With a treasure trove of PlayStation titles available on PS Plus, many games demand a significant time commitment. But for busy gamers, I've carefully selected the top 15 games on PS Plus that you can dive into, spend plenty of hours in, and still have fun. Also, it's my birthday tomorrow, so I might be gone for a few days, but hopefully, this video keeps you entertained until I'm back. As always, a like on the video would be much much appreciated. Believe it or not, God of War 2018 is on PS Plus Extra, so if you're thinking to switch from Xbox, and I know a lot of you do, this is a perfect starting point. Kratos, who was once a one-dimensional rage machine, is now a more nuanced character. He's grappling with his past and trying to be a better father while teaching Atreus life lessons. Atreus himself has a strong arc, going from innocent child to someone who learns harsh realities about the world and himself. Set in Norse mythology, the game takes you through stunning landscapes, from mid to the mystical realms like Alfheim and Helheim. The world is not only visually breathtaking, but also rich in lore, offering deep exploration and world building. The combat system was revamped, making it more tactical and satisfying. The Leviathan Axe, in particular, became iconic, as you could throw it and summon it back, adding depth and strategy to fights. The balance between brutal melee combat, magic, and puzzle solving kept the gameplay engaging throughout. The game's entire narrative is presented in a continuous shot, meaning there are no cuts from start to finish. This unique approach adds to the immersion and makes the entire journey feel like one seamless experience. Characters like Freya, Balder, and Mimir added layers to the story. Each had complex motivations and played pivotal roles in Kratos and Atreus's journey, with their own emotional weight. The music, composed by Bear McCreary, added to the epic atmosphere, while voice acting, particularly by Christopher Judge as Kratos, brought a gravitas to the characters that elevated the storytelling. Watch Dogs Legion is an open-world game set in a near-future London, where you get to recruit and play as literally anyone in the city to build a resistance against an authoritarian regime. The game's main hook is the ability to switch between different characters, each with unique skills, backgrounds, and abilities, which adds a fun layer of strategy to the missions. The story can feel a bit disconnected because of this, but the gameplay shines in its variety. You can go stealthy, hack everything in sight, or just go in guns blazing depending on the character you're controlling. The futuristic London setting is also pretty cool to explore, filled with drones and tech everywhere. Some people felt the repetitive missions and lack of a strong central character were downsides, but if you're into open world games with a tech hacker vibe, it's definitely worth a shot. Plus, since it's included in PS Plus Extra, you can try it out without any extra cost. Ratchet & Clank is a beloved action-adventure series that combines platforming, shooting, and an arsenal of wacky weapons. The 2016 game, which serves as both a reboot and a reimagining of the original 2002 title, features stunning visuals and a fun, humorous story. You play as Ratchet, a Lombax mechanic, and his robot friend Clank as they journey through vibrant, diverse planets to stop the evil Chairman Drek. The game is filled with creative gadgets and weapons like the Groovatron, which makes enemies dance, and the Pixelizer which turns foes into pixelated versions of themselves. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is a visual showcase for the PS5, taking full advantage of the new hardware's capabilities. The game introduces interdimensional travel, allowing you to seamlessly jump between different worlds in the blink of an eye, thanks to the PS5's ultra-fast SSD. This mechanic is not just a gimmick, it's integrated into both the gameplay and story in clever ways. You also meet a new character, Rivet, a female Lombax from another dimension who joins Ratchet and Clank on their quest to stop the evil Emperor Nefarious. The game features an array of new and returning weapons, each with unique effects and upgrade paths, keeping the combat fresh and exciting. The worlds are beautifully detailed and full of vibrant colors, making every dimension you visit a feast for the eyes. Rift, a part, combines humor, heart, and high-octane action in a way that fans of the series will absolutely love. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge is a nostalgic throwback to the classic arcade beat-em-ups of the 90s. Uh, you can play as all four turtles, along with other fan-favorite characters like April O'Neil and Splinter. The game features beautiful pixel art, tight controls, and a rocking soundtrack that captures the essence of the TMNT universe. With local and online co-op modes, you can team up with friends to take down Shredder and his henchmen. The combo-heavy combat system and various levels filled with iconic 
iconic enemies and bosses, make for a fun, action-packed experience that TMNT fans will love. Titanfall 2 has one of the most innovative single-player campaigns in a first-person shooter. The Effect and Cause mission involves time travel mechanics that allow you to switch between two time periods on the fly, solving puzzles and fighting enemies in both timelines. It's a mind-bending experience that showcases some of the best level design in the genre. This game is a modern revival of the classic beat-em-up series from the 90s. Streets of Rage 4 blends nostalgic pixel art with contemporary animation, creating a stylish and satisfying combat experience. Plus, you can play as the original characters or unlock new ones, and there's even a retro soundtrack option that brings back those old-school vibes. All right, if you're into hardcore RPGs, Demon's Souls is the one that started it all. This is the PS5 remake, and it's absolutely stunning. The graphics have been overhauled, but it retains the brutal difficulty and intricate level design that fans love. You'll face off against terrifying bosses, navigate treacherous environments, and die a lot. But each death is a learning experience, and overcoming the challenges is incredibly. Mortal Kombat 11 is known for its brutal and over-the-top fatalities, but what makes it stand out is its deep customization options. You can personalize your favorite characters with different skins, gear, and abilities, tailoring them to your play style. The story mode is also top-notch, featuring time travel and alternate dimensions, bringing together iconic characters from different eras in the Mortal Kombat universe. Imagine an open-world game where you're a biker in a post-apocalyptic world. That's days gone. You play as Deacon St. John, a drifter and bounty hunter, navigating a world overrun by zombie-like creatures called Freakers. The game combines survival elements with an emotional storyline about loss and redemption. One of the coolest things? The dynamic weather and day-night cycles which actually affect Freaker behavior, adding a layer of strategy to your exploration and combat. This one's a narrative-driven game from Quantic Dream, where your choices really matter. Detroit. Become Human puts you in the shoes of three androids in a futuristic Detroit, each with their own storyline that intersects with the others. The game explores themes of identity, freedom, and what it means to be human. The branching narratives and multiple endings mean that your decisions shape the story, making each playthrough unique. If you'd rather turn your brain off and enjoy some blockbuster filler, then you could do worse than Gotham Knights, the Bat Family action romp starring Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, and Robin. It's not up to the standard of Rocksteady's Arkham series, but it's a solid romp. Despite all these shortcomings and its lukewarm critical reception, Gotham Knights sold well upon release and was able to maintain a player base during its launch month. Get on! Get it done already! God damn it! Help me out here! Kina Bridge of Spirits, an underrated gem. I don't understand how this game hasn't scored higher. It's absolutely brilliant. The engaging combat system and meditative exploration where searching for collectibles feels integral make the game immersive. The well-designed areas, reminiscent of old Tomb Raider games but with Pixar-style graphics, add to the charm. The graphics are clean and crisp on the PS5, and you really don't need to play in fidelity mode because the difference is minimal. 60 FPS is perfect for this type of game. Despite some reviews, the game offers hours of challenging and enjoyable gameplay. Huge kudos to the design studio. I can't wait for their next project. Ghost of Tsushima is set during the Mongol invasion of Japan and follows the journey of samurai Jin Sakai. The game offers stunning atmospheric visuals inspired by classic samurai film. Players can engage in honorable samurai combat or adopt the stealthy tactics of a ghost. The open world is rich with historical and cultural details and the dynamic weather and time of day systems enhance the immersive experience. The outer world Worlds is a sci-fi RPG that combines dark humor with deep storytelling and player choice. Developed by Obsidian Entertainment, the game allows you to shape the fate of a colony on the edge of the galaxy. Your decisions affect the world and its inhabitants, leading to multiple possible endings. The game's quirky characters and vibrant retro-futuristic design make it a unique and engaging adventure. South Park The Stick of Truth is a hilarious RPG set in the world of the popular animated series. Written and voiced by the show's creators, 
Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the game captures the humor and style of South Park perfectly. Players control the new kid and embark on a quest filled with outrageous characters, wacky combat, and irreverent humor that fans of the show will love. The 2019 remake of Resident Evil 2 revitalizes the classic survival horror game with modern graphics, updated controls, and a new over-the-shoulder perspective. The game retains the tense atmosphere and challenging gameplay of the original, while adding new areas and story elements. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is an action RPG that lets you relive the iconic moments of the Dragon Ball Z saga. Players can explore open-world environments, complete side quests, and engage in epic battles against powerful foes. The game faithfully recreates the anime's story arc, allowing you to experience Goku's journey from a new perspective while also adding original content and character interaction. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is a fast-paced fighting game with stunning 2.5D graphics that capture the look and feel of the anime. The game features a diverse roster of characters from the Dragon Ball universe, each with unique moves and abilities. The combat system is accessible for newcomers, but deep enough for competitive play, making it a favorite among fighting game enthusiasts and Dragon Ball fans alike. Imagine a game where you're a post-apocalyptic delivery person. That's Death Stranding in a nutshell, but it's so much more. Directed by Hideo Kojima, this game blends an eerie, atmospheric world with a unique story about reconnecting a fractured society. You'll traverse stunning landscape, avoid supernatural entities, and even enjoy cameos from celebrities like Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen. I think of Dreams as a game creation tool within a game. Developed by Media Molecule, it's a platform where you can create, share, and play games made by other users. The possibilities are endless, from simple platformers to complex RPGs and artistic showcases. Whether you want to build your own game or explore the creative works of others, Dreams offers a playground for your imagination. In Gravity Rush, you control gravity to move around the world. It's an action adventure game where you play as Cat, a girl with the ability to manipulate gravity. The game's unique mechanics let you fly through the air, walk on walls, and perform gravity-defying stunts. The art style is charming, and the story is filled with intrigue and mystery as you uncover Cat's past and the secrets of the world she inhabits. Infamous Second Son is all about superpowers in an open-world setting. You play as Delson Rowe, a young man who can absorb and use the abilities of other superpowered individuals. The game is set in a beautifully rendered Seattle, where your choices of affect the storyline and the city's inhabitants. The power mechanics are a blast to use, and the moral choices add depth to the gameplay. Quidditch Champions is a paid game. If you're a PS Plus subscriber, you can get it for free on launch until September 30th, 2024. This is open to every tier of subscriber, no matter if you're on Essential or Premium, which is pretty great and should help the player base numbers. The new trailer documents your journey from the Hogwarts Quidditch pitch all the way through a career that culminates in the lifting of the Quidditch World Cup. The new trailer documents your journey from the Hogwarts Quidditch pitch all the way through a career that culminates in the lifting of the Quidditch World Cup, allowing you to play as your own creation or as characters including Ron Weasley, Draco Malfoy, Cho Chong, and Harry Potter himself. As your skill and prestige increases, you'll play in bigger and grander locations on your way to the biggest prize. There's not a huge amount of gameplay in this gameplay trailer, but there's a brief look at some chasers carrying the quaffle and charging up a shot to score, as well as a couple of clips of players dashing forward on their brooms, one of which looks to culminate in a tackle. If you fancy yourself as something of a potter or